Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Phillipsburg is brought to you by the Garnett Booster Club. Football season may have just begun at one of New Jersey's oldest public school programs, but Phillipsburg has been doing a lot of celebrating in recent weeks. After a lengthy process, the Garnett Booster Club sponsoring all state liner athletics unveiled its inaugural Athletic Hall of Fame to ensure the history of athletics at Phillipsburg that spans well over 100 years is preserved and cherished for generations to come. I mean, originally there were 71 nominees and then we used the Major League Baseball uh, form of uh, how they select. So we narrowed it down, narrowed it down, and then we got down to a final, wait, I think it was 15? 27. 27. And then uh, we voted, and the ones who had 75%, uh, we capped it was going to be no more than 15, but only 11 made it with uh, 75%. The first class features notable state liner names like Harold Bellis and Mike Maloney, the two legendary coaches whose names have welcomed generations of players, fans, and opponents to Phillipsburg football. Bob Stem, the winningest football coach in program history. Pro Football Hall of Famer Jim Ringo, who would go on to coach in the NFL. Ruth Gibbs, the first female athletic director in school history who has the most wins having coached over five different sports. Legendary wrestling coach Thad Turner and Ned Bolkar, the NFL veteran who served as captain of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish during their national championship win in the 80s. They are just some of the 11 inductees into the Phillipsburg Hall of Fame, and upcoming classes have some big shoes to fill. It was the greatest honor of my life, 115 years of Phillipsburg athletics, and to be in an inaugural class with Mike Maloney, Mickey Frenzy, Harold Bellis, Bob Stem, Thad Turner, Ruth Gibbs, the list goes on. 11 people inducted. Uh, I was the youngest inductee. It's an unbelievable honor. There's so many more great athletes to follow after us. And it's a long time coming for Phillipsburg to have a Hall of Fame. Next to beating Easton four times on Thanksgiving Day, it's the greatest honor I ever had. Long overdue. Um, narrowing it down, like Ted said, to the first 11, very, very hard. Uh, many deserving people did not make that in all class, but that's what makes that first class at 11 so very special. For our athletes to have a permanent place of uh, recognition and people can come and see the proud tradition of what they've set. Um, everybody can read about it, um, you can you know, see it, but to have a place at, the, at their high school, which they made proud of, we wanted to make sure there was a place that could be on permanent display. I can speak and say our awards banquet that we put on at Phillipsburg is one of the best around. Uh, the time, the effort that goes into it, and then every senior athlete gets an award, gets a blanket from the Booster Club. Uh, from what we've been told for years, cherished. Uh, Jim Ringo, Hall of Famer, played for Phillipsburg. Uh, his wife donated everything back to the school district once he passed away. She held on to the, the blanket that he was given from the Garnet Booster Club uh, after his playing days. That tells you all you need to know about the Garnet Booster Club and how it's involved with the school. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Neri Rodriguez.